It's the end of week two and today we have legs. It's a training day. So when you're training legs or any other body part, make sure you keep your rest time in between 60 and 90 seconds, no longer than that. If you're gonna rest more than that, your muscles are gonna get cold and you're gonna increase the likelihood of injury. But on that same token, if you're doing something like your, the giant sets or the super sets that you've seen me do, then you're not gonna have any rest at all until you've finished that complete super set or giant set. Keep your workouts intense. You wanna keep that heart rate increase during the whole time because this is a transformation. You're meant to be burning fat as well as building muscle. On this transformation, you slowly want to increase the intensity anyway. So if you can, shorten the rest period slightly, but not so much that you find that you're lacking in strength. All right, now get to the gym, get your workout done for the day, and I'll see you back here next time. Today's leg workout will be short and sweet, but don't be deceived because it's gonna be a tough one. We'll be doing high rep ranges with supersets for each working set, which means no rest. Our first exercise will be leg extensions, both full and partial reps. So once you've done your full, normal sets of leg extensions, what I want you to do is put the pin back at your heaviest weight and just do partial reps. Move the machine probably around two to three inches and just do that to absolute failure. I try to go for around 20 repetitions on this one. After your working sets of leg extensions, go straight into a superset of seated hamstring curl for three sets of around 15 repetitions. The controlled movement of this exercise is just the opposite of leg extensions. So once you've done your superset, take a rest and complete your second and third sets just like your first. Our next superset combination is another quad and hamstring superset just like the last time. For this one we'll be doing hack squats for four sets of 50 repetitions supersetted with standing hamstring curls four sets of 20 repetitions. Keep your head up and your back on the pad at all times for proper alignment. Try to complete deep squats with this exercise by going just a little bit lower than 90 degrees. Once you're done with a hack squat, go straight into the standing hamstring curl for your superset. With this movement, it's important to keep your hips rotated inward towards the machine. If your hips are rotated so far back, then you'll be incorporating your glutes as well and taking away from your hamstrings, which you don't want to do. Another week down, my weigh-in tells me that it's time to change things up. 